Hi, this is Jason McIntyre of the old school death metal band Voracious Scourge, and you're listening to The Bloodshed with the Vampire on Metal Messiah Radio International. Uh, Jason, thank you very much. It's so great to have you back on The Metal Bloodshed with the Vampire on Metal Messiah Radio International. Thank you. It's great to be back with you as well. <laughs> it's been like two years, Jason, but it's so awesome to hear from you again, to know that you guys are releasing a new album. Thank you. Thank you. We're excited as well. We've been working working really hard on it and hope everybody likes it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Louisiana based at that metal bringers of Rizzo Scorch have their brand debut full length album entitled In Debt to be released worldwide on Friday, August 21st, 2020 via Massacre Records. Jason, I want to congratulate you for the release of this masterpiece in that. My question, how of a difficult time is this now especially to release an album and how is everything with the promotion, with the distribution and support from the German of Massacre Records? It's been great so far. I've been in contact with them once a week since we signed with them. They've been great to us. The album's coming out, like you said, August 21st, 2020 in Europe, and it'll be out September 18th here in America. I'm about a month away. What can you do? I'd rather it come out at the same time in both areas, but you got to work with what you got to work with. We're really excited about it, and we hope everybody else likes it as well. In which way do you believe this would not be the right time to release an album? Maybe because just so much going on with the world right now, with everybody being in lockdown and quarantine but i mean hey that may be a good reason because everybody's stuck inside and they can listen to metal <laughs> <laughs> Jason, I remember that in 2018, you released the EP via Immortal Souls production. And this time we see you went with the Germans, as I said, at the Massacre Record. How did you nail this deal with this German uh, label? Well, that was all Audrey. I'd actually been talking to a few labels once the EP was released to release a full-length album from us. And out of the blue, Audrey hit me up one day and was like, hey, Massacre wants to talk to us. They want to sign us. And, you know, that was that <laughs> and they did such a great job with sinister i was like man that'd be such a great label to be on plus they had atrocity which is one of my favorite old school death metal bands back in the day so i was just really excited to hear that i'm really glad too that uh, you went over with massacre because the band really deserve a bigger and a much better label to represent you guys i'm happy so far so we'll see what the future holds i hope it does good for them <laughs> <laughs> For those that don't know the band is yet, Jason uh, Voracious Scorch is the brainchild of uh, such a guitarist and songwriter Jason U. McIntyre and feature a cast of a notable talent that brings the musical uh, visions to life. Leading the salt is vocalist Adri Klosterwatt, veteran vocalist for the Dutch death metal legend Sinister. Holding down uh, the beat is uh, none other than the pioneer drummer Mike Schmidt, who influenced a generation of drummers with his work with a suffocation and the last but not least world renowned grammy and nominated producer and bass player we're talking about tony Choi, who is best known for his work with technical wizard atheist and death metal pioneers pestilence joining the band also is guitarist billy richard who also playing in the cranial sledge some lineup changes since we last met Jason you brought in Tony Choi on bass replacing Lance Strickland and <laughs> added a new guitarist in person of Billy Richard please brief us a little bit on these changes the Tony Choi change was kind of odd because uh, originally I had written to him at the suggestion of Mike back when we recorded the EP about him playing bass on the, the EP with us and I never heard anything back from him and so I you know talked to Lance and Lance went ahead and did the bass for it really happy but he did a great job but once the ep was released i think it was about a week or two after tony Choi emailed me back and was like hey man you know if you still want me to play bass on the ep you know i'm down i got nothing going on right now and i was like hey man i'm sorry but you know the ep is already released <laughs> <laughs> i'm working on a deal right now with massacre records i was like if that goes through i'll call you back and the deal went through so i called tony back and you talked a little while on the phone 
and did a couple of emails back and forth and worked it out to where he could be on the album. Went to Miami, worked with him on his bass track. And as far as Billy, you know, I've been knowing him since 1995. The band I was in at the time would open up for his band and his band would open up for my band and we just became really good friends and we always talked about jamming together, but there was just no opportunity. Well, fast forward 20 something years later and the opportunity came up and I asked if he wanted to jump on board. You know, he was down for it. Mainly in case we wound up playing some live shows, you definitely wanted to have another guitar player there. Your bands with two guitar players sound a lot better live. So he has the same style as me. He loves the same era of music as me. So it just worked out. So I'm really glad he's here. Okay. Jason, for those who don't know you, you are always uh, busy doing metal in all kind of form or style with bands uh, besides uh, Vicious Scorch. Uh, how are things going with Suture and uh, Excommunicated? Well, uh, Suture, we hadn't really done anything since 2013 when we all got back together to uh, re-record the Carnivorous Urge to Kill album. Then we played like a reunion show that same year. And since then, we haven't done anything. There's always been talks about us getting back together and writing a new album or this or that. But you know, everybody's so busy right now with their own lives that you know we just we don't know when that's going to be able to happen. And Excommunicated is kind of the same thing. You know, Chad, he's the you know, main person behind that band. He has his own yeah. audio company now that you know, he's running. So uh, Excommunicated is kind of put to the side for right now. So we'll see what the future holds. Right now I'm doing Scourge and that, that's what I want to do for right now. Do you get to see Chad? You guys oh, talk? I see, you meet? I see Chad all the time. I go to his house and hang out. I just was there yeah. last week and we listened to the Voracious album at his house. I've been knowing him forever. So he's like a really <laughs> good friend of mine. I consider him probably one of my best friends. I constantly <laughs> talk to him online. Yeah, uh, please say hello to him for me, oh, please. Oh, I definitely will. <laughs> okay, uh, Voracious Scorch release our demise on the 25th of January 2018 on their Immortal Souls production. A five track in 19 minutes and three seconds of crushing and murderous old school uh, death metal. Oh, yeah, the brutal death in a really ferocious and aggressive EP in uh, the band that exudes a great quality, pure death fucking metal. Jason, <laughs> looking back two years ago, are you guys? Are you happy? You satisfied with the response received? Yes, towards this release. Oh, it's far beyond I expected. Um, it was just something that, that I did for fun. Like I had a couple songs that I wrote for fun, and then it turned into this, and it's just kind of mind blowing to me. It's just the response has been great. <laughs> of course, you have you know your haters that, that you know want to hate, expect one thing when they hear names like Mike Smith or Tony Choi, they expect you to be a, a atheist or a sinister or a or a suffocation clone band but we're not that we're doing our own thing it's so good to hear that you guys are happy and uh, to what the respond was of this EP uh, which I really enjoyed and I want to thank you very much for have sending me this EP the ones that you sent me excommunicated as well album and the such album I want to thank you once again I'm highly appreciate you uh, being so kind for sending me all the collection of what you have uh, worked for <laughs> hey no problem I like to share my stuff <laughs> <laughs> okay, to continue with this interview, the band is yeah expanding on the musical direction from their debut EP, Our Demise. Uh, the songwriting took place over the course of a year and a half and saw each of one of the band's members go through their own trials of tribulation. The result of their perseverance through those time is more than what they could have hoped for. If uh, the lineup itself of Vicious Heart isn't enough in that brought different guest musicians on board doing their part on this new album. Yeah, if you don't mind, Jason, please explain us your decision on bringing, yes, this superstar, if I may so, on board. And who are these great musicians that are doing partner on this great new album? We have James Murphy playing a solo on the title track, Voracious Scourge, as well as Andy LaRock from King Diamond. I met those guys through Chad. You know, he's in the industry. I met them through him. And they actually recorded their part about a year and a half ago when we did the EP because that song was going to be a part of the vinyl release, the Our Demise EP. Well, some things fell through with the label and this and that, so I just held that song over for the In Death album. So it worked out kind of great. And also we have Tony Tipton from Horrific Demise and also Regurgitation. He actually did the intro for our Our Demise EP uh, album. So I hit him back up and was like, hey man, you want to throw some leads down? on this one track and he was down to do it 
you know, I've always liked his guitar playing, his interpretation, and the stuff he did for Horrific Demise was just awesome. It was just a pleasure having him on board. <laughs> and then we have Just Lane from Sinister <laughs> and playing bass on two of the tracks. One of the tracks is the uh, the Born Dead cover that we did from Death and the song Tank Tread Evisceration. And then on drums for Tank Tread, we have Simon, who's one of Audrey's friends, who's a killer drummer. Uh, he played drums on that track as well. We got a, a lot of names on this album, but I think it doesn't take away from what we are. We still sound like Ferocious Scourge, you know, it doesn't change the sound. <laughs> Jason, talking about great musician and collaboration, I noticed that you have included a song of the legendary American death metal band. That song, out of their 1988 album, La Procee. I still remember, uh, if I'm not wrong, that live and studio lineup, if I'm not wrong, Chuck Schulderen on vocals and guitars, X Mantas and X Control Night, Rick Ross on guitars, X Massacre and X Mantas, and Terry Butler on bass, Obituary, yes, X Mantas. Massacre and X Six Feet Under and Bill Andrew on a drums X Massacre. What inspired you or what reminds you of this legendary band in the history of the metal scene to decided to add their song Born Death to this new album? Well, Death has always been one of my favorite death metal bands of all time, man. You can't deny that. They started this thing. You know, I mean, there's like a thing going on where either it's possessed or a death started, you know, whatever. When I was a kid, Death was the first band I heard. As far as covering Born Dead, it's just one of those songs I always really, really loved. And I actually asked Mike, I was like, man, if we did a, uh, a death song, you know, do you have any in mind? And he didn't specifically say a song, but he did say Leprosy was his favorite album. He picked the album, I picked the song. So that's kind of how it went. And I thought he did a killer job on the drums on that album. You know, he kept it death sounding, but he put, you know, that Smith flair into it. As Mike uh, Smith being ex-drummer of Suffocation, it never went through your mind to do a suffocation cover? No, um, I never, to tell you the truth, I never thought about it. And they're another one of those bands that I grew up listening to. I never thought about doing that or a Sinister song or a Pestilence or Atheist song. I'd love to do it. Communicated, we covered a Pestilence song that didn't show up on the album, but it'll probably be on okay. like a later album. It's for your next album, you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Suffocation, <laughs> Sinister. <laughs> Who knows? If we ever play live shows, maybe that'll make those songs will make their way into the set. Who
as you just said, uh, Jason, uh, British Scotch uh, released worldwide their full-length album In Depth on August. Yes, this coming uh, Friday, uh, 21st, 2020 via Massacre Record. For all our audience and fans, Jason, would you like to describe us the album track and list? First track is an instrumental track, Retribution of the Damned, that Dennis came up with, who also worked with Sinister on their last album. And me and him kind of collaborate a little bit on you know what I wanted, went back and forth and I think he came up with something that was perfect first time I heard it completed the way it was I just I fell in love with it but Audrey here and he loved it too so it made it on the album the uh, second song Heaven Scorched probably the third song I wrote for the album at the time the lyrics kind of like three things combined I love music I love book it's kind of like uh, the movie The Prophecy where they have the angels and the spikes hanging that those lyrics kind of came from that and they also came from like the Castlevania cartoon that's on Netflix they had a scene where they had angels getting eat up by demons and demons running through the streets attacking people the next song to flesh messiah is pretty much about you know all the false prophets out there that claim to be the savior of the world and they're not they're just greedy fuckers you're just <laughs> taking advantage of people gracious scourge is the next song it's pretty much about the bubonic plague it's just something i thought was kind of fascinating mental enslavement is a, another one of those tracks it's kind of like i don't want to say anti-government it's one of those tracks you know just old school track where government sucks <laughs> <laughs> Don't let them bind you down and tell you who you need to be and all that good stuff. In Death is just one of the songs I wrote. I think that song's like one of the older songs I wrote lyric-wise a couple of years back. A Life Condemned and In Death. Those two songs are kind of connected in their subject matter. Harbinger of Eyes that appeared on the EP and I brought that over because I liked that song so much and it had the really cool melody going on during the chorus. And that song pretty much about just fanatics, Christian, religious, whatever religious fanatics you want to think of. Just how you know, that kind of stuff is just dead dangerous and in tank tread that happened to be about a video i saw on youtube where this guy was just ran over by a tank <laughs> it was pretty gruesome can't remember where it came from maybe it was like iraq iran or somewhere over there somebody had filmed it and was like look you fuck up this is what's gonna happen to you do what we say so that kind of brought on by that and of course born dead death cover self-explanatory right there jason i want to thank you very much for have describing us album track list i want to thank you and i want to Thank Anya uh, from Massacre Record for have sending me the promotional package containing the MP3 file of this great album. I must say what a fantastic and devastated work done on this album. And talking about the work done on this release, very much of the recording of this album has been done in different places at different recording studio. How has this gone in general? Who are these people that you guys work with? And how has it been this time you returning with your Yukon at the Stone Lodge studio in Germany? Oh, well, he was, Jorg, that was common sense to go back with him because the EP came out so killer. The sound was so good of the EP that definitely wanted to go back with him. And he's also a really cool guy. You know, I like him a lot. Going back with him was just made sense. And as far as like the recording, you know, everybody kind of did their own part again. Mike recorded the drums at his studio in New York. Tony recorded all the bass stuff at his studio in Miami. And okay. then yeah, Billy recorded all the guitars here at my home studio. And then Audrey, he went to record with his friend Iztok for the vocals. And once all that was done, we sent everything to Jorg and he worked his magic. And there you have it, in death. <laughs> I noticed that Audrey didn't do the vocals recording at the same place where he did in Slovenia last time. I don't think maybe it just worked out better or maybe his, this guy was closer. I'm not really sure about all the anything behind all that. Okay. The band released a lyric video as for uh, the first sign of their upcoming album in that for the track Heaven Scorch last July 13, 2020 and created by the mastermind Sebastian Spiker. Spiker, like we say in Dutch, who also work with Sinister, etc. And a second lyric video released on August 5th, 2020 for the track The Flash the Messiah, created by Job Multimedia. Jason, how come you decided on uh, this track as a promotional one for the lyric videos? How was uh, working with Sebastian's 
speakers and uh, this multimedia job and will there be an official film or video as yet to be released before you guys premiere to your album on the 21st? Well, we worked with Sebastian on the uh, Heaven Scorch video because he did such an amazing job with the Sinister video and I was really impressed and I talked mm-hmm. to Audrey I was like, man, who did that video? We need to get him. Contact to Sebastian and we hit it off really good. He's another really nice guy. He hit it off real good. He sent over a description of what he thought the video should look like and pretty much hit the nail on the head. Pretty much wow. told him what colors I want the video in because I wanted it all red and orange and yellow. Like Heaven's on fire. And he stuck with the colors and came up with his own concept and it came out great. I mean, I'm, I'm so happy and proud of that video. I think it looks awesome. And as far as the, the Flesh Messiah video, God, I think that's how you say his name, but he worked on some suture videos for us and he also did the lyric videos for the last Voracious Scourge lyric videos from the EP, The Harbinger of Armed Demise, as well as Fortuity of the Deceived. So uh, he did such a great job with those that I went back with him for the lyric video for The Flesh Messiah, which I think came out super sick. Like, I, I just loved the way that, that came out, the way he just utilized the cover artwork. I loved it. And as far as another video coming out, I, I don't think there's going to be other any other videos coming out for the album, unless it may be like another lyric video for another track but right now we have no plans for that and I, i'd love to get everybody together to do like a real video but there's just so many things you got to plan for that to happen that I, i just don't see it happening i mean i'd love for it too but i just don't see it happening when i saw the video the first video i'm talking about for uh, the song heaven scotch i discovered that sebastian has worked on that video and it relate me to the one he did for Apostles of the Week, first single of the formation of the Holy Realm from Sinister New Album. And I can remember when I first saw that video, Apostles of the Week, the way this guy has created it, the way he has it put it together, step by step, the lyrics, the minute you enter the graveyard, the crosses, the evil nun, the church, all this, how it matches in each other. It's so incredible. And I don't see that you guys could Could have, have a better start than what you did with uh, Heaven Scorch as the song chosen for the first sign of this album and the way it's put together by Sebastian. Yeah, I thought it was the perfect song to have the first video for. I mean, it has a little bit of everything that we're about. It's got some melody. It's got a little bit of brutality. Probably one of the best representations of what you know we're about. We're about every form of death metal kind of thrown in there. A little bit of technical stuff in there. Like I said, some melody, some brutality. And, you know, and Audrey's just killing it with the vocals you know he's just just sick man he comes up with some great stuff to be honest so far i love seeing the certain new album but the minute i hear your first promotional single it really hit me hard that i can say yes at least coming from the united states this to me is the best release so far this year <laughs> thank you thank you it means a lot <laughs> yeah a lot coming from you uh, for those that has not heard the album is yet jason in that contains a strong composition mixed with murmurable melodies and catchy hooks a sprinkle about as is assaulting a slap of raw meat. The song are dealing with inner torment. The grisly tale, as you said, of the bubonic pluck, false prophets of all religions breaking free the suffocating grip of religions and or governmental control and a gruesome tale of punishment doled out under the threats of a 60 tons of steel beast. <laughs> Jason, what are the plans for yes uh, for live show or any other promotion in support of this new album? What's this year is still left, and uh, most of all, for what 2021 it will be? Well, this year it's pretty much not much going on except for the album release. Like I said, we may have another lyric video released towards the end of the year, but next year, man, if we could somehow get to Europe and play some shows or some festivals, to me that would be the thing to do if, if that could happen. If one way or the other if everybody can be there if just half of us can be there and you know have some musicians from Europe join us I mean that's what I want to do for 2021 I see most of the festivals already booked most of them are remain with the same bill as 2020 maybe there's some with some little changes but in general they are all already full but for 2022 I believe there's a big chance Jason that you can be on the bill of yeah any of uh, these great festivals in Europe and let's 
try to do that. Let's try to make it happen. Yeah, that would be great. I mean, by that time, we might have a new album out. <laughs> so that would be even yeah, better. Sure. <laughs> sure, sure. That would be even better. Yeah. Okay, Jason, I want to thank you very much to have made this interview possible. And I want to hand you over the microphone once again of Metal Messiah Radio for you to invite all your friends, all your friends to support the band, to buy the band's first EP, the 2018 one, Our Demise, and to buy the band's brand new full masterpiece in that to be released August 21st, 2020 via this great this awesome, prestigious massacre record. And yes, for those who has not heard any of the songs of the new album as yet, I uh, highly recommend you to go do it. Go check their promotional videos and buy the album. It's just a killer album and you need to have this in your collection. For sure, another great release of this year as I just said. But Jason, before we leave, the cover artwork was designed by John Quevedo Jensen. So the already worked with him in the past? No, I actually was just scrolling through Facebook one day, and some art that he did for another band, I really can't remember the name at the top of my head, kind of caught my eye, and I was like, man, that's, that's some great, great art. So I contacted him through Facebook and we uh, discussed a few things and I sent him a couple of tracks over and he listened to them and kind of came up with a concept that, you know, he pulled from those tracks. So, and he sent me over the uh, preliminary kit and I was just blown away. <laughs> I sent it to Audrey and he was like, man, that's, that's some killer stuff. So you know, that's kind of how that worked out. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I see that cover art, I'm just blown away by it. Massacre sent me over the vinyl release of the album, so the, the cover art's you know, pretty big, and I can just sit there and stare at it forever. <laughs> Is there a way uh, for those who have not seen it that yet, you can describe what this artwork is about? I can see the demons, the right side, one on the left side, and I don't know what they're doing because uh, they are like talking to the ones in the middle. Yeah, I don't know either, man. I'm just, I'm, I just, I, I'm sure he told me the concept behind it, but I don't really remember. I just, just look at it. I don't know. I just kind of think of my own things in my head. <laughs> I really, don't, I really don't know what he was meaning behind it. I'm sure he definitely could tell you. I just it's, thought it was a killer piece of artwork. Like, I love it. Moments yeah, of yeah. It's, it's, you know, when you see this, it's really grab your attention. Oh, yeah. To be a killer album. Right. The, the only thing I did have input in was I told him I wanted the orange and the red color. For some reason, this album, I wanted to have it revolve around those colors, like colors of fire. Because the cover for the EP was just, it was so much color in the EP cover for that, that I wanted this one to be more of one single, like a red, like fire, red, yellow, orange. I just want the whole thing to be like fire. That's kind of why the Heaven Scorch video looks the way it looks as well. Uh, Jason, for those uh, fans that uh, we just <laughs> encourage to listen to this great new album, in how many format will them be able to get it, this masterpiece in that? Massacre is releasing it in digipack form, CD form, as well as vinyl. And then I just found out last week that uh, a label from, I believe it's Indonesia, called Musicness will be releasing it on cassette form. Format. Oh, <laughs> yes. Do you believe that will be in a large quantity? I think the cassette is like uh, like a hundred units. Yep. As far as the digipack and the vinyl, I'm not sure. How about um, special packages? Well, not that I know of right now. Like I said, the digipack is pretty much the only special package, I guess, if you want to call it, that I know is going to be released. As far as like digital and all that, who knows? Maybe later they can release it with an extra song or something. I really don't know what the plans are for all. That. Jason, it was so nice talking to you. And yes, I want to hand you over once again the microphone of Metal Messiah Radio to thank whomever you want to thank and people that you might have forgotten to say something and that you want to say something to, that you want to thank and to encourage people to buy this album. The microphone is all yours. Okay, first I want to thank you for being such a supporter <laughs> of Voracious Courage uh, and thanks. Sutrix Communicated. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. I like to check in on you every now and then on Facebook, see how you're doing. I want to right. also thank you know all the guys that are part of the project. You know, Audrey, Tony, Mike, Billy. The contributions you know from Gislaine, Simon, Tony, James, and Andy. Thank Massacre Records and everybody for making this happen. Just want to let everybody know if you're into old school brutal death metal melody, and check out our new album. I think you won't be disappointed. Once again, to all of you out there, I highly encourage you for this 
this Friday on the 21st, the album will be out. I think it's in two weeks, yeah. Two yeah. weeks. And two weeks from now, as we speaking, the album will be out. So I encourage you. I mean, you can get it. They can already order it online, right? Yes, you can go through. I believe in Europe, you can get through Nuclear Blast, Seasons of Mist, and a couple other places. And in America, I think right now, yep. Amazon and order it. How about your band camp? Band camp? No, we're not going to have it on our band camp. Maybe if Massacre has one, they can get it on. I'm not sure if we can even put it on band camp. <laughs> This is a massacre release, so I'm not really sure how that works. Once again, I encourage you guys to go buy this album. I had a great opportunity to listen to all of the songs on, which kept me really amazed by this great job, Jason, that you guys have done another time, showing the kind of musician you guys are. I mean, professionals doing great work and love what you're doing, and to keep this metal genre of life and you guys need to be um, support fans need to support the band because it's a masterpiece of release that this will be in that so i highly recommend you all please support the version scorch and go buy this album the album will be out once again on the 21st of august so you need to have this album in your collection it's recommended by me one of the best release of that metal scene and that says it all so you need to have this great album in that in your collection from this great American old school death metal band Voracious Scorch Jason I want you to say hello to all the band members from me please oh definitely definitely will like I always say metal on bye bye see you later <laughs>